Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another quick take. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Sage Dart, which is Sage's fast action, small stream rod. I'm also going to be reviewing the line that was made alongside it, Rio Creek. Now the Sage Dart has been around for a while, and we haven't gotten around to reviewing it because it's such a specialized rod. But it's actually the perfect rod for our new quick take format, so here it is. And because this rod is so specialized, it also needs a special line, which is the Rio Creek. And the Rio Creek in and of itself is pretty interesting. And so I decided to combine these reviews into one to kind of give you an overall review of the Rio Creek fly line and this Sage Dart fly rod. This video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. So before we dive deep into this rod and line, let me show you some of the features on this rod. Basically, it's gonna be 100% sage. Standard uplocking reel seat, great snub nose half wells grip, moving into a super slim olive blank. It reminds me a little bit of some of the slim rods from Sage's past. And of course, standard guides, although they are a little bit smaller on this dart. They have made some little changes, but overall, not a lot to talk about in terms of build. It's just a great sage rod, but not pushing the limits. This rod is all about how it casts. And the truth of the matter is, no one has ever really asked for a really fast action small stream rod. Because in a small stream, you really wanna make that 20 or 30 foot cast, not that 40 or 50 foot cast. So it makes this 763 weight a bit of an oxymoron. And because of that high speed blank, Sage needed to figure out a way to make this a fishable rod for us mere mortals. And they came out with Rio Creek line. Now, I'm gonna show you the line taper here so you can understand just what this Rio Creek is all about. You'll notice right off the bat that almost all of the weight in this head is packed into that first 16 feet. What that means is that it loads really, really fast. So you can take a rod like this Sage Dart and make a cast that's 16 feet plus your seven and a half foot, nine foot leader and have it load a fast action, high performance fly rod. And when you pick this rod up, it's super lightweight. It just has everything you want it to be in a small stream rod. But the reality is that once you get below that, call it 25 foot mark, you get a rod that doesn't give you great feedback. So a lot of small streams around here, they're only 10 feet wide and a 25 foot cast would actually be a fairly long cast. Now, if you're fishing Spring Creeks out West, this might be a great rod for you and you're not gonna have this problem. In fact, if you're fishing in meadows where you've got lots of room to back cast, this might be the absolutely ideal rod for you because you're gonna be able to make those longer casts yet maintain that light, fun to fish feel of these smaller rods. But this rod doesn't stop there. It actually gets even more interesting when paired with this Rio Creek line. Like we said, all of that weight is in that first 16 feet of line. That makes Rio Creek feel a lot like an outbound short line. And if you've ever cast a shooting head outbound short style line, they feel totally different than your traditional trout line. Really, when you're pairing a sage dart with a Rio Creek, you're getting a shooting head setup on a 7.63 weight. And it casts really quite well. In fact, it's just a fun rod to cast all around. The problem is, it's got a lot of energy because of that faster action. It's not really all that delicate. So for a lot of small stream applications, it may not be the best choice for you. So I've struggled a little bit in terms of who I should recommend this rod for, because while it's so much fun to cast, the situations are super limited where this is the absolute best choice. If you've got this sage dart, let us know how you like it by leaving a comment in the box below. And especially let us know where you're fishing it and maybe even show us some photos of the fish you've caught. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.